Oof, it's getting a little cold in New York. Um, <laughs> but guys, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm actually in a great mood, so it's a little weird to be talking about what I've struggled with about moving to New York. But I'm gonna give you guys my struggles. I'm gonna tell you um, my story, some, some things that have um, not been great about living here in New York for two months now. So don't worry guys, I got my list. Like always, I always got the list. <laughs> um, look, a little background. I've been here in New York for two months now. If you've seen any of my other videos, like, look, I had an apartment scam, lost a lot of money, was homeless, not homeless, but like I had to scramble, get in a hotel. Um, upon that, I had a bad job. I quit within the first month. That was horrendous. Um, and since then, basically I've been job hunting. So I've been job hunting and the market's pretty terrible right now, especially I'm in software sales and SaaS is just not doing great in the market. I feel like there's a new layoff, new company doing layoffs all the time every time I go on LinkedIn. So let's start with the struggles, guys. Let, let me talk about some things that I really have problems with about living here in New York. It's expensive. It, it is so expensive living in New York and not only like looking for apartments, but I'm talking about like everything from grocery shopping um, to you know just like, I just wanna like have a little pizza takeout, a little Chinese takeout, going on dates. Like it is an expensive city. That was really, I knew that coming in, but I didn't realize how expensive it was. This is the first time in my life, like when I had the job even, that I've been spending more than I'm actually making. And that's kind of a weird position for me to be in because I've always been really good about my money. Um, I know what to do with it. I know how to budget well. So that, that's been a struggle. And yeah, let's let's just let's just talk about it, guys. It, it's a lonely city. I, I can totally see why it's a lonely city. Um, like I'm filming this alone right now, <laughs> but like I have made a couple friends. But it, it, it's tough. It, it's such a big city. There's so many people going. But it's a little like I'm a little alone at times, especially when I quit the job, living alone in my apartment. That that's a tough deal to just like all of a sudden you're, you're shrinking your social life because you're not going to an office anymore. Um, and that's a big part of where a lot of people find their friends. This is a question for anyone watching this video that has um, just moved to New York or they've been here for a little while. Did you ever feel lonely living here in New York? Did you um, feel alone like you didn't have many friends, like you didn't know what to do, just felt alone in this big city? Please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your side of the, your story. Um, let me say another thing. The, I've been struggling with the dating scene. And what I mean by that is I've, I've been asking girls like that I've been going out with, you know, what's the dating scene like in New York? How do you like it? And the same answer I'm getting from everyone is you're gonna have a lot of options. No one likes to get serious. Everyone likes to date around. And, and to be honest, I've done that throughout my, my entire 20s. So I've been dating around. And I'm looking for something probably a little more serious than that at this point in my life. So I don't really wanna just date around and just have all these options. Like options are great, but if everyone's just kind of like just not settling down is that really what I want right now so I'm struggling with that in New York to, to be honest but like I said it's only been two months so I can't really say I've given that a fair shake yet this is another struggle I have in living in New York is New Yorkers I would say are more pessimistic and when I call them out on that they don't like hearing that but they are they're more pessimistic I feel like they have everything here it's like an amazing city but people are more negative here like, like oh god forbid if the the subway doesn't get there in time or you know like if, if they don't get their way at a restaurant or something it's like i don't know I, honestly in colombia the people are so happy and they have so much less and it's amazing because there is so much more you have a ton here in new york but people are just more negative here um and I, I i don't like i grew up on the east coast so the negative vibe is like i get on with it to an extent but then it's just a little too much for me. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Um, you know the jazz, it helps me out with building my channel. So, all right, back to the story here. <laughs> this is my biggest thing that I don't like about New York is the grind mentality, kind of a rat race. It totally feels like a rat race here. Just like on the subway, people just grind in, just working hard and there's some good things to it because you 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 know there's a lot of money associated with that and, and you're gonna meet a lot of ton of cool people. <laughs> but well, living in Colombia, life was just so much more easy going. People just appreciated life. They just would like to go out, eat some good food, listen to some good music. But it's a really simple way of living. And the mentality there was just like enjoy your family and your friends. Here it's just grind, 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 work, 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 work. Um, so I don't love that. Well, I have a little bit of that. I have a, I have some hustle as well. I, I don't like it all the time. I, I think it like defeats a little bit of the point of you know living a good life. So I'm struggling with that a little bit. All right, guys, let me give you the positives. What I really like about living here in New York. 
uh, the food. The food is awesome. And man, this goes back to the negative thing real quick. Is like some people are like, oh, there's quite a few bad restaurants here. Be careful what you eat. It's like, all right, calm down, all right? I came from Colombia and it was the same food like every single day. You have everything here. Like maybe my bar is a little bit lower for food quality, but I think the food's unbelievable in here in New York. I love bagels, love pizza. But forget about that, just the international options. There's so much. So I, I really love that about New York. Like I, I'm getting addicted to deli sandwiches. Literally right before this video, I went into like an Italian sandwich shop, like a nice, nice uh, panini, grilled panini. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> Um, another positive about New York, the culture, like in terms of a melting pot, you're meeting people from all around the world. Uh, I love that. Um, in Colombia, just felt like Colombians, and you'll meet a gringo here or there, but it's just kind of Colombians. Um, here in New York, it's much more just a melting pot. You're gonna meet people from all over the world um, in just one city. I think that's really, really cool, and I love that about New York. The things to do in New York is like, like I said, I've only been here two months. I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface in terms of things to do. I haven't been to a museum yet. I haven't been to Broadway, um, a Broadway show yet. So I feel like there's just so many things to do here in New York. I do love that about living here. Um, it's kind of over overwhelming almost, like what, what am I gonna do? <laughs> but I've been loving it, just exploring, seeing new things every single day. I absolutely love that about New York. But here's my number one thing that I love about living in New York is the opportunity and the possibilities. Whether it's from meeting people, whether it's from the food, whether it's what you're about to go do. Yeah, there's a little bit of grind mentality, but people wanna be their best selves here. They wanna like go for it. They wanna go after their goals and it, they really are chasing their dreams here. And I'm doing that a little bit in my sense now. I'm trying this YouTube thing out, giving it a go. Um, I'm still looking for a job, but <laughs> like I'm going for it. And I, I do get on quite well with that mentality. And I do love the the possibility and the opportunities here, like I said, are endless. You know, there's just so much you can do. So, so guys, what's next for me? I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm job hunting still. That's been really depressing and it's been really tiring, to be honest. Um, hopefully I'll get a job before end of year, but if not, maybe I'll come back to New York. There's a lot I like about it, but there's a lot I don't like and there's things like I miss from Medellin or traveling, but I need money at the same time. So. My life's kind of in limbo, guys. I don't know where I'm gonna be going next. I wanna come back to New York. I wanna give it a fair shake. I wanna give it like at least a year before I make that decision if I wanna stay or leave. Um, so I'll probably be back, but I guess it all depends on the job. So anyways, follow the journey, guys. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Um, excited to show you guys more about where my journey ends up and um, keeping the YouTube journey going as well.